Well, here's proof that society is in rapid decline. Uh, I've got pyro eyes, and when I see activity like this going on, that's trouble. Well, down there is one burnt out bike. It may be stolen, it might have been put out as rubbish. Mind you, it is not rubbish pickup time. To me, that doesn't look, look like a cheap bike, okay? That's been on a fire over here. Oh, we've got, looks like a fuel can. Uh, lots of burnt stuff there. Uh, some molten metal of some sort. That looks extremely nasty. Uh, I'm trying to work out what it was. Uh, looks like an aluminium spider, if I could say it like that. Uh, obviously this is a fuel can, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to work out what was going on here. Uh, more burnt stuff under there. And the more I look around here, the more wickedness I can see. That is an exploded Rexona uh, deodorant can. Okay, it's been in the fire. Disgusting activity indeed. Totally disgusting. But the horror show just continues on. There's something else uh, fritted and burned up over here. It looks like a, a can of some sort. I mean, whatever was on the fire here must have been exploding and making noises. Uh, down here, there's all sorts of, well, there's other bits of burnt things there, more cans. And as usual down here, at this spot here, there's just a giant mess of stuff. Uh, it looks like drinking has been going on. And that's the root cause of all this, I dare say. And there'll be stuff here that you can look at and it also paints another picture and if I go up into the bench here, and I can't say too much here But when I see little bits of uh, pipe cut down like that Again, you don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to work out what's going on there Looks like they've had a chat out on some McDonald's there. I'm not surprised and if I come over here uh, The destruction the wanton destruction just continues on the community barbecue has been fried I'd hate to think what was cooked up on that. I think this one here is the uh, the most pyrrhorific. It's a whole bunch of sparklers and a bit of a exploded can there. Yes, uh, it must have been a noisy little affair. I bet you the neighbors around here must have heard what was going on. Yeah, there's all these uh, deodorant cans. Okay, some are burnt. This one isn't burnt, but it's been crushed up. The lovely local councilmen have just appeared to tidy up that mess. There's three of them there. We had a bit of a chat about what goes on there. Uh, they've seen a lot, a lot of drug activity going on there. Uh, always lots of things burning and they say there's little hidey holes down in the bush here where the bad guys sort of hang out. I'm a curious person and I'm just following one of the bush tracks through here. It's a bit of a spooky forest if you ask me. I can see uh, signs of things that have been burnt. Okay, obviously fallen trees and things. A little bit of litter. Uh, a little bit more alcoholic beverages. It's actually the style of environment that uh, some YouTubers would find. Bigfoots and things like that. If I was smart, <laughs> that's what I'd be finding down here. But I'm not that smart these days. Yes, it's quite a track actually, and the other curious part about this area here, and I may go up to it if I can find it, is in Pokemon Go there was a pokey spot down here, or point of interest or whatever they were called, and I found that to be a little bit, well, let's just say curious. This isn't nice, I'm seeing graffiti on the tree here, and as I traverse along here, I'm actually stomping along because uh, hopefully that will scare the snakes away. If you ask me, this is your classic style of snake territory. I can hear little birds chirping and things. I've just got to watch my step here. I really don't want to be on the ground. And a couple of obstacles here. It's actually, well, in a strangest way, it's actually a bit of a fun looking place. When I look down there, um, that snake area, if you ask me, and this is the part the council guy said to me. They said, if you go up the track a little bit, you'll come across this area here looks like something out of one of those scary Stephen King styles of movies, doesn't it? Yes, I wonder what goes on down here. I can see primitive types of scratchings going on in the tree here. That there looks like a bonfire. It looks like primitive man has uh, existed down here. Mind you, it looks like primitive man was uh, an alcoholic and liked to put things in the fire that go boom. So I'm seeing uh, deodorant here, 
exploded cans here, it'd actually be very easy to solve this crime. You only have to go to the local shops, find out who's been buying this, and find out who's been buying the sparklers. The walking track progresses up there to the road. I'll probably go up there at the end once I've taken a look back here a bit. Uh, this zone here, I actually know about this through Pokemon Go. It was part of the uh, points of interest, I think it was. And I think it was this here. I'll take a look at the sign up on top of the road. But there's like a waterway here. If I go up there, you can see a bit of a pipe and some graffiti going on there. And I think it's like nature's filter down there. Okay, down there is nature's filter. And if you ask me, it looks like a cesspit. It looked like a filter to me. Well, I'm seeing this drink here and the alcohol content is very high. Okay, that's going to cause trouble. And when I see things like this, okay, a bottle of a hole in it. Well, there's more trouble as well. Very recluse sort of area. You can get up to all sorts of shenanigans down here. I can guarantee it. And it looks like there has been shenanigans. Let me just get past this zone here. Very tribal, isn't it? It's like Survivor, <laughs> but it's not. And I'll show you the plaque, uh, which talks about that reservoir dam thing. The place is alive with mosquitoes. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. And the other peculiar aspect about this area here, I would struggle to find a redback spider here. Although in my backyard, I would find hundreds of them. And that's probably better off uh, looked at in another video. Something very interesting I found out about the redback spider. <laughs> and uh, why you can't find them in the bush versus the backyard. So now I'm up at the road and down there was that little recluse, uh, rather naughty zone. And we'll take a look at what the sign says right here. Okay, Hornsby Shire Bush Care Project Site. Yeah, I know what sort of projects going on down there. And here we go, this is the little thing talking about nature's filter. Okay, like I said, I only know about this from Pokemon Go, it exposed it to me. So in essence, where I'm standing is up here, the water comes down here, we saw the pipe, okay, there's like a reservoir there, which, well, I think that was a cesspit. And then the naughty zone, where I saw the fire stuff and all the stuff being exploded, that's it there. Because those pipes were down there, sticking up out of this zone here. I'll carefully track back, and I'll see how the council men have tidied up their shenanigans from the weekend. And really, the trick here is, is to uh, keep your eyes on the ground at the changing terrain. Oh, that's a bit strange. Okay, what's this one here? Oh, okay, what is that? It was the bunny ears that caught my attention. I think it's a deodorant. Weird. Okay, I'm just emerging uh, back to where the mess was. And I think those council gentlemen have worked mighty fast. That's quite amazing. It is as clean as a whistle. Even the barbecue area over there, spanking. They have worked feverishly hard. Mind you, there were three of them. Yep, the, uh, the burnt, whatever was there is gone. And I'm pretty sure they got the sparklers and the exploded can is also gone. There you go, as clean as a whistle. Well, close enough. There you go, there's a bit of a tour of some urban distress as I'm calling it. Sort of a strange part of town that I've never been into, but now I have, and seen what goes on. And I've got to wonder, whose bike was that that I found all burnt up, crispy critter, hey? Who's been buying sparklers? Who's been buying the aerosol cans? Who's been having fun down here over the weekend? It wouldn't take very much at all to work out who's been doing this. And the other thing that goes on, and people seem to forget about this, they carry mobile phones with them, so there'd be a digital fingerprint to who's been here. But in the end, the problem is, who really ever cares? I'm so boring, I'm so boring, I'm so boring, but I've come back to my uh, <laughs> favorite little uh, trolley bay here. Have we got a system here where I can return the trolley? This is now a couple of weeks after I <laughs> exposed the trolley trap, it got cleaned up and all the rest of it. And no, I still cannot return a trolley here. It is still a trolley trap. There's no little dingle dangle there. And, uh, oh, actually, there's a, is that a coin there? Well, I could, I could get rich here, couldn't I, if I could get that out? That's got me a little bit fried. I'm just going to see if they've got a, a de-coining thing up the front here. Like, there should be a chain with a thing here. No, nope, there's nothing there. What should be here is uh, what's over here. I keep saying this, but it doesn't happen. So I'll go back to, uh, well, you'd take the trolleys to... And I'll try and get my little coin back, which is stuck in here. 
arm different. I'm actually going to try and take the, the short one here because I don't want the trolley sticking out into where the cars drive. I'll carefully come down here. I love the sound that makes, don't you? I've just, I've just crushed my coffee. That was a very bad look and I'll try and get my coin back up. Oh, I'll try and save my coffee. Oh no, that wasn't a very good look, was it? Anyway, I'll do the right thing and uh, just chuck it in the bin. One day this will get sorted out, I know. It just takes time, it just takes time and I'm not gonna give up until it is rectified.